convicted. Kate, alongside some other criminally convicted women, is transported from the others and are transported to another location. Here, Aunt Landmaids. She further reveals to the women that they were selected as handmaids women to become sterile, exempting these lucky few. After Aunt Lids, the next day, Aunt Lydia instructs the fertile women on their duties as her duty is perceived to be an act of service to God and to their comforter. Kate is taken into the home of the commander, aka Fred. Serena immediately lays down the rules for Kate to adhere strictly. Serena approves of this and tells Kate they can work together. Soon in ceremony, she returns to Fred's house, where Serena shows her to her room, her, aka Mr. Inferiority Complex. Cause anyone who insists right with the commander, he and Serena take turns reciting a scripture from the old Serena present. When Kate wakes up the next day, the kitchen staff gives her entry store to pick up supplies for their respective houses. Later, while walking, they also encounter a pregnant handmaid on their way back, who everyone applauds. One night, Kate is about to steal a pair of scissors, probably to court Kate. Instead, the both of them make out passionately, before Nick happened to the last of Fred, since there have been two other handmaids who say about what she thinks of their latest handmaid, to which Serena replies that with her veil. However, the commander locks his door and tells her to remember to her. She will be more at ease and become a better handmaid. The Kate's the commander at Scrabble. Just kidding. The commander offers her some strawberry. While he is away, Kate shouldn't forget him. The next day, Serena invites make her life whole. Serena then lets Kate know that she's aware of the fact out. Three months after Kate's residence in the commander's house, she's absolutely nothing wrong with her. However, he knows the commander and suspects don't, and that Kate will get the blame if it doesn't work out. Surprisingly, other women get pregnant this way. Kate politely declines, but he presses on. The result, he finally lets her go. Back at the commander's house, Kate is given Kate is the winner once again. When she asks for her prize, the commander gives her a hand lotion because she needs it for her dry skin. At first, he obliges Serena for her to notice scent. The commander agrees to give her hand lotion. However, Serena immediately stops him, fearing that he might be more sent her off to the colonies, where the standard of living is unbearable. Kate Hearing this, Kate gets taken aback, and she quickly leaves the off covered anything about her daughter, but Serena says she hasn't. Serena then asks she admits that her husband might be infertile, and suggests that Kate should slim. When Kate asks her who she has in mind, Serena tells her Nick is a good Nick get intimate, and this marks the start of their affair. She then gives Kate a photograph of her daughter, which makes her emotional. When she, but Serena breaks the sad news to her that it's impossible, because Jill wouldn't knows her wish can't be granted, so he decides to comfort her instead, while she also witnesses the event, and becomes more impatient, telling Kate to get the next time Kate and the commander meet at the commander's office. Kate mentions that and his thought process. Sometime later, all the women attend an event maid's training. Situations like these are inevitably the woman's fault. And next, another man is brought in and convicted for the assault of a pregnant sane women there. And of Glenn reveals that she is a part of the resistance. Kate, what the commander wants from her, since he sees her privately, of Glenn the women. And a group of armed men start shooting sporadically. The men are to kill the commander, as he has been their main obstacle for a democratic turns to the commander's office. She is surprised when he tells her he's taking her out, because according to the commander, wives aren't allowed where they're going. Have drinks and sleep together before eventually leaving. Once they get back she then tells Nick that she wants to escape and asks him to join her if beside it. The next day, Kate goes to meet with Of Glenn to tell her that Of Glenn is the lady claims to be Of Glenn. Meanwhile, by 10 p.m. that night, Kate prepares herself to eliminate the commander. Him immediately, Nick and some other police officers arrive at the house and. In the next scene, Nick and Kate have an emotional farewell because he returns. The episode ends with Kate hiding safely in the mountains. And leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching.